Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, um, you know exactly why you're here because it is BoxyCharm unboxing day. I have my base box right here. Looks slightly different than normal. They slapped this sticker on here. I'm not well, I'm really sure what that's about. There's a 1-800 number on it. So I don't know, I'll look into that later. But it's our base box day. It's uh, October already. So, um, go ahead and keep watching if you want to see what I got this month. Um, just as a heads up for those that are new, I do my unboxings a little different. Rather than just take the items out and show you, um, I've already used what's in the box. So I can give you a little bit of first impression, mini review, um, kind of just my thoughts uh, so far. And I'm also wearing today everything that I can that's in the box. So keep on watching if you guys want to see what I got this month. All right, guys. So every month there is a card that's always included with their theme. Some kind of there's some information on this card this month. Normally there's not really important dates, but there is this month. Um, on the back it has all of the list of products with the description, um, price points, their social medias for each brand, and a variation number this month on the bottom. If you can see. I'm variation 61, so lots of variations this month. The theme for October is Candy Shop. It's a little uh, interesting if you take a close up look. There are, it's candy, right? But then there's some bloody scissors and fingers on the top corner. I thought that was a little interesting. Um, so yeah, for Halloween, um, there's a save the date little memo on here. Um, basically, it's a start your holiday shopping when all access opens on November 10th. So that's Boxy pop up. Um, for those who are subscribed to Boxy Charm, uh, they do occasional pop up shops where you can save like up to 80% on not only products that have previously been featured in the boxes but completely random new products. Like they make special arrangements and deals with other companies. So there's all sorts of like lifestyle, beauty, health things that come up and super steep discounts. So I've told some of my friends, I'm like, hey, if you see anything that you like in my box, you let me know and I'll keep my eye open for it when it comes up in Boxy Pop-Up because I can get it for a really good price. Um, not every product is always in there, but a lot of products that have been featured in previous boxes are on the shop. So anyway, um, I digress and we're gonna start with my choice item so with the base box every month you can choose one item and um, and this month I did get the option to choose this this is the real her um, I'll go ahead and show you this is just the box actually let me take it out while I read um, this is the real her ultimate glow getter cheek trio this cheek trio has all of your angles covered this high quality silky formulation ensures the high points of your cheeks are evenly highlighted the hollows perfectly chiseled and the apples of your cheeks subtly flushed with a universal peach um, this retails for $28 and Real Her is the brand. We've seen her in, pot in uh, we've seen the brand in BoxyCharm before. I did do some swatches on the back of my hand the, in a quick video format, so I'll drop that in real quick. I think it's a great little palette for traveling. Um, I am wearing the, the blush and the highlighter and, and the contour. Now I don't really contour, and I've talked about this in my previous videos, I just don't really contour. But I did throw just the smallest amount on, on my hairline, a little bit under my blush, and a little bit on my jawline. It's, it's very pigmented, so I went very light with it. I dusted off the brush because I actually put the blush on first and the blush is very pigmented. I feel like my blush is a little heavy today. It is a very pretty peachy pink tone. I think it's nice for fall because it's a little warmer. Um, the highlighter is gorgeous. These are super pigmented, very buttery, velvety. Really, really like them and I think for the price, $28 for three products, especially because it's so small, you could just pop it in your purse and travel with it. I really like it. And I really like the real hair products that I've used. So I am wearing it. Um, the highlighter, the blush, and the contour, which you can't really see because I just don't really go heavy with the contour. Um, okay, so we're gonna get into the next product. Um, I haven't used it this time around. This is actually a repeat product. I've had this brand, this brand, this product, a different scent in the past um so 
it's interesting. I think that's the first time that's happened that I've gotten like a repeat. Um, but this is a sponge gel cherry tonka musk body wash infused buffer. Um, sponge gel has collaborated with boxy charm to create limited edition body wash infused buffers. These buffers are with built in body washer infused with extracts of yuzu, Edel, edelweiss, edelweiss and vet, vetiver root to cleanse, exfoliate, massage, and hydrate the skin for a spa-like pampering experience at home. These retail for $20 and they have been a BoxyCharm many times before because I've seen other people with them. I've had it once. I had it maybe six months ago, maybe longer. On the card, it does talk about how they're collaborating with BoxyCharm to bring exclusive scents. So maybe this is like a special fall line. So that's why it's back in. Um, it's still wrapped. I can smell through the plastic. It definitely smells very fall-like, very um, musky, but in a feminine kind of musky way. Um, I did like the, the one I had before. I probably got like 10 uses out of it, roughly. When you get it wet, you know, it's gonna get nice and lathery and very sudsy. It's great for your legs. I mostly use it on my legs and my elbows and like my knees, like rough, rough areas. Um, I think I might give this away as a gift um, for Christmas because it is kind of, it's red, it's pretty, it's musky, it's like a good end of the year kind of scent. So 20 bucks, that's what it costs. You know, we've had it before. It's a good product. Um, I just, I think I'm gonna gift that away. That's why it's not open, that's why I didn't use it this time around. Um, okay, so the next product I have used, so let me just take a step back. I, uh, I know it's Sunday that I'm filming and I'll have this up today, but I got this two days ago on Friday. I've just been a little busy, so I haven't really had a chance to, to film until today. Um, but I've used this for the last two nights. So what this is, and I'm gonna get close because it's very small and there's a lot of writing on it, so I'll try to see if you guys can see that. Um, this is a symbi from Symbiosis London. It's the Tightening and Resplendent Eye Mask, a revolutionary innovation in the beauty market in the form of an eye mask in cream to tighten, rejuvenate, and brighten the delicate eye area. This eye mask is fortified with hyaluronic acid, pululin, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, as well as shea butter, and works to visibly reduce puffiness and the appearance of fine lines and dark circles. This baby retails for $93. And it's only half an ounce. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. 0.5 fluid ounces. Um, so this is a London brand. Um, I did look them up. And they are they seem relatively new because there's not a ton of reviews on their site. But they're very high end. Like they're the cheapest thing I saw was like $60. And it was like a moisturizer. And then like they, they had these crazy treatments that were like $190. I was like, okay. The cool thing about BoxyCharm is they're sending us these high-end things. I think they're trying to get us like reeled in so we buy them. I would never spend this price on something like this, but I am glad that I got it um, because I don't have any sort of an eye cream right now. I do use moisturizer. I use my Lancome serum. I kind of use that around my eye area, whether you're supposed to or not. I do, but I don't have a specific eye cream. So this is a mask in which you just put it on, leave it on. It doesn't feel tightening. It doesn't feel... Um, thick. It just feels like any other eye cream I've ever used. It does have a nice light fresh scent. It's like a like a creamy white, like a like a thin lotion. Um, I'm not gonna put it on my hand and show you guys because for the price, I'm gonna get every drop of this little baby that I can. So that's that product. Um, okay, second to last product. This is a big one, and I'm sorry in advance if I blind you because the packaging is extremely reflective. So. Uh, here's the packaging. Yeah, you're gonna be blinded. Um, I'm gonna take it out in just a second. So this is a Ciate London New England Editor Palette. Inspired by New England and Fall, this palette features super soft and blendable shadows and a mix of richly pigmented autumnal hues. Uh, mix, mix and match the metallic glitter and mattes for effortless eye looks. This retails for $32. This palette I, it doesn't really scream fall to me. I was able to do what I think is a very fall inspired look. There are really pretty colors in here. I'm gonna use a card to cover the mirror because there's a big old mirror in here, which I love. These are the colors. I did do swatches on the back of my hand, so I'll insert that in just a minute. But I wanted to give you guys an idea. There are some very pretty um, mattes. There's mattes, there's shimmers, and then there's you can see in the light, this one and this one, I think they're pressed glitters. I used, for this look, I'll get close in just a second, 
I use this really pretty red. That's why it looks kind of textured because I used my brush a lot and my finger. I use this one in the corner and then I used this one for a transition along with this one for a transition. And I deepened my corners with this dark brown and then a tiny bit of underbrow highlight with this one. So I lose one, two, three, four, five, six colors. Yeah. Um, let me get close real quick and then I'll insert the swatches that I did on my arm. So let me just kind of lean forward. I'm going to close my eyes. So basically the one in the center and then the outer corner, the, the goldish color and that reddish color, um, are, I feel like they're kind of foily, really intense shimmers. I didn't feel like they were glittery. The cool thing is there was no, very little to no fallout and they feel all of these shades they swatched beautifully One thing I will say is I absolutely love Ciate. We have gotten Ciate several times in BoxyCharm and I'm so glad we have because my favorite blush, I'm not wearing it today obviously because I'm wearing the Real Her. My favorite blush that I wear every single day is Ciate and it's one that I got in a BoxyCharm. But I've been very happy. And for this, there's 18 shades for $32. That is a really good price. This would make a good gift. I actually, for a split second, thought not to use it and that I would gift it to my cousin that's who I had in mind um but then I just saw it and I was all this is too pretty I'm keeping it for myself <laughs> um don't worry cousin if you're watching you'll get something good for Christmas um but I just want to say Ciate is a great brand I've been very happy with all that we've gotten from them I feel like it's a very good quality um for 32 bucks 18 colors you know it's good pack good sturdy packaging I'm very happy with it. Um, okay, so we're gonna get into the very last product, and this is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. Um, so this is, it says, prepare to be obsessed with this ultra-fine vegan super fruit setting mist that effortlessly refreshes skin and sets makeup for 12 hours with a natural radiant finish so skin looks healthy and hydrated. So it's a setting spray. I'm glad that I got this. I'm not a huge setting spray person because the only setting spray that I've ever used is the, uh, the, the, uh, my, my mind's going blank. The Smashbox, I guess. The one that like I've gotten it a million times with the purple lid and the black bottle. Help me out in the comments. Um, and it's very, it's like, air, it's, it's like a pump spray and it's very like watery and I feel like it just puts droplets on my face. I haven't noticed that it did anything specific or special. So I don't really use setting sprays. I don't buy setting sprays. However, this is different in that it is it is an aerosol but there's no CFCs. Um, also it does say that but I read that somewhere. Um, it's got the little recycle thing and the little symbol so it doesn't have CFCs but Super fine mist. I don't know if you guys saw that. <laughs> I already set my face. Doesn't smell like anything. Super, super fine. Continuous spray. You don't have to keep pumping on your face. I love Tarte products. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Tarte. So glad that this was in here because it'll give me a good opportunity to try a setting spray. Um, and I'm just excited because I like Tarte. And um, their Maracu maracuja oil and a little purple vial. I have some girlfriends that are like diehard obsessed fans with that product. So um, this, if I didn't say, I apologize if I didn't. Um, it retails for $23. So I added everything together and this month the value is $196. This box is only $25 a month. So I got some great stuff. I think it's really good. I mean... I'm super happy with both palettes, super happy about the spray, happy that I have an eye cream now, even though it's super expensive, and you know, I got a little Christmas gift for somebody <laughs> with that sponge. So yeah, overall, I think this was a great box, great value, super happy with the palette. I'm very happy with the palette. Um, I love this look that I came up with. I don't know, it's just very faux-like. Um, Oh, it just screams like leaves, falling leaves. I have a tree in my front yard that's been dropping leaves like crazy. Every time I look out, it looks like it's raining leaves. And I'm okay with that. So yeah, so 
that's the box. And I want to say uh, I hope everyone has a very safe, socially distanced Halloween. It's October. It's like my favorite month. And, you know, things are different this year. So I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I still plan on doing something. I don't know what I'm going to do. But, you know, you guys enjoy your October. Enjoy your weekend, the rest of your weekend. And you guys take care. Be safe. And I will see you in the next video.